know about you, but I've always felt that Minecraft's weapon selection leaves a lot to be desired. I mean, sure, you've got your standard sword, the axe for a heavier but slower swing, I guess the trident if you want, but it feels like they're missing one crucial oh. element. The mace. Minecraft's newest and coolest weapon introduced in a recent snapshot. I'm sure that most of you have seen the clips by now of people one-shotting wardens and doing sick parkour that'll inevitably be played in the background of some TikTok where a crappy AI voice reads out someone else's mildly interesting Reddit story next to some subway surfers and a weird slime simulation. This bad boy is capable of putting out some serious damage, way more than any other weapon type in the game under the right circumstances. In fact, this simple rock on a stick is theoretically capable of dealing more damage than anything else in the game with just one single hit. So that begs the obvious question, what's the most amount of damage it could possibly deal. Now you might think this is a very simple question. You build a really tall tower next to a really deep hole, jump off, and absolutely smack someone's lights out. Oh, 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 oh my poor sweet innocent child, this is nothing. Today, I'm going to take you on a journey far from the realms of what is practical and into the vast frontier of what is possible. This is the most damage you can deal in a single attack in Minecraft. Richard, hit that intro. Before we can even begin answering this question, we first need to understand how exactly the mace works. We're going to be looking at the Java edition of the mace specifically for reasons that will become clear approximately seven minutes from now. It's also important to note that at the time of writing, the mace hasn't been officially released yet. It's set to release as part of version 1.21, the gigawatt update, but we've gotten a taste of it in a few snapshots. For that reason, it's possible that they'll make some changes to it here and there in the official release, in which case I'll make sure to leave an update in the comments. But in its current state, if you just pick one up and smack someone with it, it'll deal seven points of damage, the same as an unenchanted diamond sword. Already, not too shabby, but the gimmick of the mace is that you can deal extra damage if you simply hurl your body off the nearest cliff. More specifically, you deal an extra three damage for every block you fall before hitting something after the first. So with this information, we can find this formula for the damage dealt by the mace, three times the number of blocks you've fallen, minus one, all plus seven. If you simply leap off a two block high structure to hit someone, you'll deal 10 damage, which is significantly more than even a netherite sword. So as you can see, this has the potential to be pretty good. Oh, I'm sorry, did I say good? I meant terrible. See, this formula is for a regular old box standard mace, AKA literal garbage. But an enchanted mace, now that is something we can get behind. There are a whole bunch of enchantments that you can put on your mace. Most of them don't affect your damage output though, so they're literally worthless to me. Enchantments like Smite and Bane of Arthropods can increase the amount of damage you deal to specific enemy types by a couple of points. But as you'll see in probably nine minutes, where we're going, a couple of points is chump change. It literally makes no difference, so we don't need to consider them. The only enchantment we really need is one called Density, which increases the amount of damage dealt per block fallen by up to 5, bringing our 3 times multiplier up to 8. But wait, there's more! In Minecraft, anytime you hit an enemy while falling, you can get a critical hit, dealing an extra 1.5 times more damage. And luckily for us, we're already falling, so this is basically a free buff on top of everything else. 
Normally, this buff does not apply to boosts from enchantments, but based on my research, density seems to be an exception since it's directly increasing the damage per block inside the formula instead of tacking on extra damage at the end. So factoring in all that, we find that with a fully upgraded mace, you'll deal damage equal to 12 times the number of blocks you've fallen, minus one, plus seven. So in order to maximize this damage, we must simply fall and fall far. So the real question of this video is not how much damage you can deal in a single attack, it's really how far you can possibly fall. Finding this is quite simple. You can just dig a really deep hole, build a really tall tower next to it, and then jump all the way down. The build limit in vanilla Minecraft is 320 blocks up, and the bottom of the world is negative 63 blocks down. If you jump off your tower and fall all the way to the bottom of that hole, you'll fall a total of 384 blocks. It'll take you nearly five whole seconds to reach the bottom. And if someone just so happens to be standing within striking distance of you when you land, then you'll deal a total of 4,605 damage. That's enough damage to one-shot a warden, the highest health boss in the game, nine times over. And so, there you have it. The most damage you can deal in a single attack. Ah, 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 as if. 4,609 points of damage? Ha! Don't make me laugh. Folks, you're thinking far too practically about this. No, no, no. We can do much better. 320 is the highest point that you can build to in the game, but what happens if you stand on top of this tower and jump? What happens if you fly away? This may be the highest that we can build, but we can still go much higher. And all we gotta do is strap ourselves to a lit firework. What could possibly go wrong? Probably the single most effective way to gain height in Minecraft is with an elytra that you can nab after defeating the ender dragon. These wings allow you to glide long distances and if you craft yourself a bunch of rockets then you can gain some serious height too. Specifically, one rocket with flight duration 3 can carry you a vertical distance of 78 blocks. If you absolutely pack your inventory with stacks of 64 rockets and one mace, you can carry up to 2,304 rockets at once. Starting from the build limit and using one rocket after another, you can reach a maximum height of 175,040 blocks. If you quickly unequip your elytra and pull out your mace and fall all the way down to the bottom of that same hole, you'll have fallen a total distance of 175,103 blocks. It would take you over 37 minutes to fall all the way down to the bottom, and if by some miracle the thing you were trying to hit has not moved yet, you'll deal a grand total of 2 million. 101,234.5 points of damage in a single attack. Enough to kill 4,202 wardens, all accomplished within vanilla survival Minecraft. There you have it, the real maximum amount of damage you can deal in a single- No, no, no! Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you saw it coming. Of course that's not it. Now, I'm sure there are ways to slightly increase this height with things like flying machines, but in the end, it doesn't really matter. Because if we truly want to hit the limit for the maximum amount of damage you can deal in a single attack, we're going to have to start breaking some rules. If you head over to creative mode, you can gain access to console commands, which lets you manipulate all sorts of in-game variables, including your current location. Using a simple teleport command, you could instantly warp to the same height you achieved with the rockets. Or you could warp twice that high, 
or 10 times that high, you could instantly teleport yourself 30 million blocks up into the sky and fall back down to absolutely atomize some poor zombie waiting below. But unfortunately, if you try to teleport any higher than that, the game won't let you. Warping 30 million blocks into the sky? Sure, go for it, have fun, but 30 million in one? Whoa there, buddy, let's not get crazy. But even if the game won't let you teleport any higher, you can still move upwards from here. So clearly 30 million isn't the limit either, but without our trusty teleport command, it's hard to know how much higher we could go. Unfortunately though, it's hard coded into the game that you cannot possibly travel higher than this. It's against the very laws of Minecraft itself. So what do we do? Well, the answer is pretty simple. We just break the law by literally changing the source code of Minecraft itself. We can remove this teleport limit restriction and teleport as high as we want. We could make that 30 million limit look like a joke. So let's up those orders of magnitude a bit. If you teleport yourself anywhere above 2.14 billion blocks and you're playing on the bedrock edition of Minecraft, then the game will instantly crash every time. But in Java, you can keep going for a long time. See, I told you I'd come back to it. Did I get the time right? I don't know. Now, technically speaking, the highest point you could reach in a Java world is two to the 1,024 blocks in the sky, approximately 180 uncentillion blocks up. This is the biggest number that Java can distinguish from infinity. Go any higher and your game will crash. However, at these insane heights, the physics of the game start to break down a bit. You can no longer move in any direction, including down, which is a bit of a problem considering our whole goal is to, well, fall. It turns out for some complex computer science reasons that I can't understand, the highest point you can possibly reach while still being able to fall is 36 quadrillion. 28 trillion, 797 billion, 18 million, 963 thousand, 968 blocks up. So, to deal the maximum amount of damage in Minecraft, all you need to do is alter the source code to remove any and all restrictions, warp a cool 63 trillion blocks up, then fall all the way back down to bedrock at negative 63. And then you keep going. Because the layer of bedrock at negative 64 may be the bottom of the Minecraft world, but it's not the lowest point we can reach. Below the usually unbreakable bedrock floor is the void. A vast expanse of darkness that seems to go on forever. So if we just remove a bit of bedrock and have our target sitting way down in the void, we could increase our fall distance further still. So ignoring the void damage, how low can you possibly go? Well, it turns out the answer is actually pretty simple. You can go down just as far as you can go up to negative 36 quadrillion, 28 trillion, 797 billion, 18 million, 963,968 blocks. At this point, once again, you're no longer able to move in any direction, including down. So you've essentially hit the real floor of the Minecraft world. And thus, we have all the pieces we need to finally answer this age old question. And by age old, I mean from about a month ago when the May snapshot first came out. To set this up, you must simply start at the height limit. 36 quadrillion blocks up and have a friend stand 36 quadrillion blocks down with a big hole between you. Now, all that's left is to pull out your mace and start to fall. To close the distance between you, you will have to fall a total of 72 quadrillion, 57 trillion, 594 billion, 37 million, 927,800 blocks. Assuming a Minecraft block is one meter long, this is the equivalent of falling down to Earth from Neptune 
15.6 thousand times. At Minecraft's default fall speed of 78 blocks per second, it would take you 29,140,835 years to fall all the way down to the bottom. Now, you may look at this and think it's completely impractical, but all I see is what's possible. Because if by some miracle, someone from the far-flung future comes across your still-working computer in the post-apocalyptic wasteland and happens to click the attack button at the exact right time, then you would deal a grand total of 864 quadrillion, 691 trillion, 128 billion, 445 million, 134 thousand points of damage in one single hit. The most damage you can possibly deal in Minecraft. Enough to kill well over one quadrillion wardens in a single hit. Enough damage to vaporize 500 trillion suits of diamond armor. With one humble mace and a clever mind, you can leap from the gates of heaven down to the depths of hell and one-shot the devil himself, assuming you've got a cool eh, 30 million years to spare. Is he, is he not? Oh, okay. I thought I thought for sure I was going to get like maced or something call back to earlier, but uh, I guess not. Oh, right. You coming? No? All right. Well, I uh, guess I'll catch you guys later. This video was made possible by all my patrons, including Alakazam, Aspa102, Big Dog Tie for the Win, Sidian, Sherry and Mark, The Boss Killer94, and Alberung Freud and Selican. You guys are the greatest.